Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to a new episode. This is Dan and today we're back in the boat, customizing the boat today. We're not going to work on boring stuff that's kind of hidden like electricals and batteries and things like that. Today is kind of a version, this is pimp my ride, this is pimp my boat day today. Uh, we're gonna do something fun. And the best part is, it ain't gonna take that long. I am finally getting rid of my super boring, really, really hideous steering wheel that's on here. You know guys, I've seen some um, awesome steering wheels out there. You know, really expensive chrome ones and leather wrap and all kinds of fancy stuff. I wanted to do this as cheap as possible, but I definitely wanted to get rid of this and get something snazzy for the boat. So I actually got this really cool brushed stainless steel blue one here uh, that we're gonna swap out. This is a super fun project. I've wanted to do this, do this since last year, but I actually ended up getting damaged parts. I sent it back and I never redid it again. But this year I was like, I gotta do this before the spring comes. I wanna have this really cool new steering wheel. Little complication though, this is a three quarter inch tapered shaft that's used for this steering wheel. Whereas this one here and a lot of popular boats you can see here is that this is a six bolt steering wheel. So it's got actually six bolts on it. Um, so there are versions that have six, some have five, uh, but this has nothing. So this is a little bit more complicated to take off. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to take this off, this three quarter inch tapered one. And we're gonna work on popping it off because it can be tough if you don't have some tricks up your sleeve. And then what you need to be able to use one of these six bolt ones. So I hope you really like today's video because I've wanted to do this for just for so long. I can't wait to see how this looks. So don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff if you enjoyed this video, if you have any questions. There are different types of three quarter inch tapered steering wheel shafts. So you might encounter one on your boat that's not quite the same. So feel free to ask any questions in the comments below, as well as in the description below, I'll have links to everything that we use today because you know me, I like to do things not at premium pricing. I like to look for good deals. For example, this steering wheel cost 50 bucks. You'll notice it says Momo on it. I don't know if you can see that. Um, this is not a real Momo steering wheel. There's no way. When I actually bought this off of Amazon for like 50 bucks, um, there was no branding on it and I got it in a Momo box, but there's no way that this is a real Momo steering wheel. Uh, but who cares? It looks cool. It matches the blue of the boat. I, I, I dig it. All right, so let's get started. Let's take off the old steering wheel and I'll show you what's involved because believe me, again, if you didn't know about these little tricks I'm going to show you, taking these off can actually be a nightmare. Okay, so trick number one is uh, basically to get this off. It's uh, very complicated. You have to really measure several. I'm just kidding. You just rip this off and that just pops off like that. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to get you guys in real close here. So you can see this is a three quarter inch nut uh, on a threaded bolt. Now, there's two different kinds of shafts. On my particular one, you take this nut off the bolt, but on other ones, there's actually a bolt that goes into a threaded hole. So in this particular version, it's like this, okay? So what I'm gonna show you is for the nut configuration that you take off. If you're doing this same trick, on a um, bolt that goes inside. You just wanna take the, the threaded bolt off. You wanna just go ahead and back it off. You, you don't wanna take it all the way out. You just wanna take it out a bit because we're gonna work on loosening this and taking the steering wheel off, but you have to pull really hard sometimes and the last thing you wanna do is go flying. So if you've got a bolt, you're gonna, you're gonna go ahead and loosen and take the bolt out a bit, but not all the way out. And if you've got a nut like this, you're gonna Go ahead and loosen the nut, but not back it all the way off. Again, we're going to be pulling hard on the steering wheel. We don't want to go flying with it, okay? Sometimes you might even need to get a partner to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and loosen this up. So this is a three quarter inch. All right, so that's already loose. Now this is a notorious problem with tapered shafts, okay, is that the steering wheel mechanism, the entire steering wheel housing, it's metal on metal, and with the pressure, it actually gets stuck. And I can pull on this, I mean the whole boat's shaking, and it's not coming off. Okay, it's stuck in there. And the way it works is there's a keyed shaft. So there's a shaft that comes out, it's tapered, and there's a metal bit that's inside, and that's what locks the steering wheel in place. And just over time and with pressure, they get all jammed together. But there's an easy trick to pull this apart. Now, some people actually need to use like a pulley puller. Uh, I'll link in the description below, I'll show you what that is, or a wheel puller, but I've actually had a lot of success with this trick. And that trick is just with a hammer. Give it some good smacks right on the bolt and then pull. And there you go, it just popped off. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take this bolt off and get the steering wheel off. Okay, so that comes off and there's a washer, comes off as well. And there's your steering wheel. 
That's it. That's all there is to it. So that tapping trick is key. You've absolutely got to do that or you'll never get this off. Here's the little key I was talking about that goes in the keyed section of the shaft. Let me show you the steering wheel where this goes in. Here's the steering wheel and you can see these little keyed parts. So that slides into here and that's what holds the whole thing so it turns. And on the shaft of this thing, there's a keyed section here where this piece actually goes in just like that. So now the question becomes, how do I get this six bowl pattern steering wheel here with uh, absolutely no hole or shaft to speak of onto there like this? Good question. Okay, so to make this work, we need a special adapter. We need a tapered shaft to three or six bolt adapter. And these guys actually make one. So this is Forever Sharp. And Forever Sharp makes these in a chrome or a flat black finish. And there you go. So there's the bolt side. So you can see it can adapt to five or six bolts. And you've got the keyed shaft right there. And that's the back of it. So this little puppy, and I'll link to it, this is a lifesaver. So this will allow me to switch to a five or six bolt instead of tapered shaft. So you might be asking why, why aren't I just getting a tapered shaft steering wheel? Why bother with the five or six bolt? Um, well, the answer to that is pretty simple. Two of them actually. There's just way more variety in a five or six bolt pattern steering wheel than there is in tapered shaft. And they're way more inexpensive. In fact, uh, I found a similar blue steering wheel like this. It was $350. I got this one for 50. So um, I think you'll find a lot more variety in the styles that you could be looking for for your boat. And I think you'll find that the prices are way cheaper. So it's just, it makes a lot more sense. So even buying this adapter, the adapters are extremely well made. Um, these are heavy duty. Even though these adapters are expensive, they're not the cheapest things in the world. I think I paid like 60 bucks for this. It's still this plus this is still half the price of the tapered uh, steering wheel. Uh, so, I mean, this just makes a lot more sense. Here you can actually see the little keyed section that I was talking about that's on the shaft. And this little key piece goes in here and you can see how that works. So we're gonna push it so it's flat. And you can see it's actually rounded. The piece is rounded. It's like a little half moon. So the rounded part goes inside here. And then we're gonna put it on, we're gonna see how you can make it stick out or stick in. We're gonna put it on the inward side and then we'll go ahead and put our adapter on. Before I go ahead and put this on, I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, lubricating grease on here. All right, let's go ahead and put the adapter on. You can see I'm just holding the keyed piece in. You just wanna look through here and you can actually see if you're putting it in the right area. And that's it, we're on, just like that. All right, let's go ahead and bolt this in place. All right, let's go ahead and bolt this on here. There we go, that's on there nice. Check that out. There you go. All right, let's go ahead and start putting the steering wheel on. Start off with our top bolt. And remember, we're just gonna put them all loosely in at first, and then we'll tighten them, and we'll do opposite. So we'll tighten one side, then we'll do the next side, then we'll do here, we'll do here. And that's just to make sure everything grips on properly and straight. There you have it guys, this looks so much better. I absolutely love how this looks. I'm kind of low key flexing on the blue LEDs under there, um, but it looks super stunning. I absolutely love this. So I got the blue LEDs, the blue carpeting, I got the kind of blue accents in different parts of the boat. So the steering wheel just looks phenomenal. Super happy with this install and you saw how easy it was. Uh, as long as you know that little trick, for uh, getting the key off, you're all good. Because those tapered shafts can be tricky, but once you get it off, it just takes a couple minutes and you are set. This looks, this looks pretty good. This looks pretty good. I like it.
So just a couple of notes guys, if you want to protect the bolt or the nut while you go and smack it with the hammer like that to get this off, you might want to just cover it with a 2x4, hit the 2x4, that'll also work. Um, and if you can't get it off, one other trick that you can do is have somebody pull on the steering wheel while you smack it, that can also help. Um, but I've never had an issue, I've done it a couple times, just give it a smack and off it pops. Otherwise, uh, you might need a steering wheel puller. but. Uh, probably just in extremes, maybe if it's been on there for 30 years, I can see that happening, but this, is, this has been on here uh, since 2006, to give you an idea of how long that old steering wheel was on there and you see it came off. So, we'll see what we do next, guys. I'm not really sure, but uh, yeah, we'll see what we do on the next one. Make sure you hit that bell notification and you'll get notified the next time I have a cool video and we'll see if we fish, if we fix, or if we customize. Have a good one, guys. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.